How's it going, everybody? This is Chris with CLS Paranormal, and we are here at Colbert's Pub to do an investigation. We got some great interviews, some great history, awesome stories of the building. This is going to be a really good investigation. All right, so we are here down in the basement with Ryan. What do you do here? I am the kitchen steward slash sous chef. Okay. So I'm going to ask you, what are some of your paranormal experiences that you've had here? So I'm here by myself a lot. I'm here usually before people get here, um, sometimes after people leave, if I'm depending on what I'm doing. But I'm mostly here during when before people get here. And I hear things sometimes like the clink of a bottle on a glass. It has like a distinct, not just glasses clinking, the distinct, the bottle hitting the glass. Okay. And like, I'll be in the kitchen and I'll come out and I'll be like, hello, anybody there? Nothing. Okay. You have any experiences in the basement upstairs? Um, sometimes I hear things that sound like they're moving around but, I mean, first I thought, oh, maybe it's things shifting, you know? But no, it definitely sounded like somebody, something was shifting it around. I had, we keep our, our empty bottles outside, and we keep them stacked on the table out there for the vendors to, to um, pick up. And the other day I found them on the ground, bottles smashed everywhere. Now, that wasn't no river rat or a raccoon or something. The way it was knocked over, it had to be something, somebody or something knocked it over or threw it on the ground. Okay. Have you had any personal interactions? Something touching you, talking to you? No, not like that. It just, you just hear things, it just gets kind of like spooky at night. Especially at night, like if I'm here, if the girls leave and I still have a little bit of work to do, I'll be here by myself and for a little while and lock up. And you just kind of hear like, People moving around, kind of. Okay. Has anything happened where you were scared and wanted to leave? No, not to, that, ex like that? Not to that extent. Okay. All right, well, thank you, Ryan. Thanks for sharing. Thank you. So we are here with? Erica. All right, what do you do here? I'm the bar manager. I've been working here for the past two years. So tell me about some of your paranormal experiences that you have had here. So I lock up a lot of times by myself at night and I've heard a lot of noises and I've heard moving around. I've seen figures walk by and I think someone's there and then I look and there's obviously nobody there because I'm locked in here by myself. And I've seen things upstairs, downstairs, here in the basement even up at the bar and I've heard things like in the bathroom before too when I'm not in the bathroom and then I go to look there's nothing there like I've heard water running before um yeah that's about the extent anything personal or you were just like I want to get out of here no I don't feel like threatened by it at all but it is a little creepy but I don't feel like they're evil spirits or anything All right, so we are here with? Chris. What do you do here? I drink here. <laughs> you drink here, okay. Uh, often. Uh, so I, I have also seen or heard some of the, the stuff, but uh, for me it was a little bit more of a one specific incident. I was coming out of the bathroom and two guys went in after me. And, uh, you know, about ten minutes went by and I remarked that... Uh, you know, it's a little strange that two guys haven't come out of the bathroom in about 10 minutes and everyone looked at me like I had six heads. They were like, what two guys? Uh, two guys that just walked by me to go into the bathroom. Um, you know, I thought they were messing with me, but uh, apparently I may have actually witnessed two ghosts. Okay. Have you ever been threatened by something here? I, I've been threatened to be cut off or kicked out. But, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Outside of that. Uh, Outside of that, no paranormal? No, no paranormal threats, no. Uh, it was really just that one incident, and then, uh, you know, again, you just hear stuff if nobody's around. All right. Thank you. You got it. Thank you.
So we are here with Jen, one of the owners of Colbert's Pub. She's going to tell us some of the history. Whenever you're ready. Sure. Um, so we bought the building about five years ago. So 2000, what is that, 19-ish, 18-ish. Um, and I got to work uh, researching because I knew the building was very old. Um, and the records go back to about the 1840s. One of the first owners of the property was a man named J.D. Hamlin. He was actually one of the um, drivers of the Maid of the Mist down in Niagara Falls. Um, and he owned this property for a while. Um, and then after that, the bar changed hands a lot. It was about five or six different bars throughout the years. Um, there was incidents here with prohibition and them hiding um, booze in the floorboards. It was a brothel at one point when there was an upstairs. Um, and yeah, there's a lot of history to the place. Um, so yeah. And from talking with you guys, there's actually a lot of history just right here on the street because you guys were talking about the jail. Yeah, so right across the street is now the library of LaSalle and that used to be a jail. And we actually have uh, some of the beams that were refurbished and placed into the bar from the cells and you can see the little where the pickets were. We're going to get a tour of the building. We're going to start upstairs. Oh, want to walk us up there? Follow me. So this is the upstairs. Um, it has been an apartment for years and years and years. This is probably the area. I've never personally felt anything here, but when I am here, it's the upstairs that I feel a little uneasy about. Um, so we just have the old living room up here. And then this is one of the old bedrooms. Um, I've actually found going up in the drop ceiling, I've found stuff hidden there and actually all of the rooms. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, I found like like library books in there with like a library card. Um, a lot of like random things. We found like a receipt from like the 70s, like for medication or something, just random things. So yeah, this is one of the rooms we use as an office and this is one of the rooms that Erica our bar manager was sitting down at and she'd hear things like up here when she was in here by herself. Well, I'm going to put a chair in front of this door. Yeah. And then if we make our way back over here. This was just a closet that came through over here, a small bedroom. This back area over here is where I kind of feel a little uneasy about when I do come up here. Um, so there's also some old wallpaper that's kind of creepy in the other rooms too from the drop ceiling that we found. Um, I can show you guys that as well. Watch your step. But yeah, a lot of this is just storage now, but it is pretty cool. Like if you look up there, you can see some of the old wallpaper. Oh, you got it there, and then I know there's some. I think there's some back here too. But I thought this was a hallway, it's just a closet. Yeah, it's just oh. a weird shaped bedroom, <laughs> honestly. So, okay. yeah. And then um, back in, I want to say the early 1900s, this was also a brothel. So there was a bar downstairs, and then you would come up and have your rooms up here for the brothel. So cool bit of information. And 
are on our main floor of the bar. This bar has been in the same exact location since at least the 1940s. Um, and then this seat over here is where Chris was sitting and he saw the two guys walk behind him and in the men's bathroom over here. Um, and then if you make your way over here, the bathroom where Erica would hear water running when she walked by. Um, and make our, yep, we'll make our way down all to the right. basement. And here's the basement. Um, this is all the original old stone from when they dug it out and built it um, many, many years ago. Um, and back here, same kind of thing. We have the old stone walls that go all the way around. Um, and then Ryan wanted to. Yeah, Ryan. Ryan, where are you? Right here. You want what to did show you want us? to show? So this is really cool over here. Oh, right here. So right up here, if you see it, that's where the prep door was. And they used to hide alcohol and tobacco products during the prohibition. When the authorities came, there was a nice little hollow spot up top. And now all they have to do is open the trap door, put it in, and wait until they left. And then they can resume their activities, whatever they were doing, be it drinking or smoking tobacco, whatever. It's a really cool little bit of history. That is actually interesting. I didn't even know that. They did get busted. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they did get busted. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Did you guys hear it? If you listen closely, it sounds like we capture a voice saying, You think you're bad? We'll replay it and put it on repeat so you can hear it. I think there. I think the authorities did catch on to it eventually. All right. Well, I just want to thank everybody for doing the interviews and showing us around. We're gonna get started on our investigation. How's it going, everybody? This is Chris with CLS Paranormal, and I am officially locked in Colbert's Pub. I am on the second floor in the bar area. Uh, so we're actually gonna do something different. Usually when I'm, I'm in these places, I have my camera person and I'll have a few people doing an investigation with me, but we're gonna start this off really special. And I'm actually doing this place completely alone. Like I just said, there is nobody in here. So we have the basement right here. If you guys can see that. That leads down to the basement and we actually already did an investigation of this place and it was really good we actually had some insane spirit box responses like i had a spirit cuss me out and it was wild through the spirit box and that way that i'm pointing at right there that's the upstairs that used to be the brothel that you guys probably have seen in the interview in our walk around and that did you hear it if you listen closely, as I'm talking, it sounds like a spirit is sighing underneath me talking. If you listen closely, you'll be able to hear it. We put it on repeat. Check it out. Interview when I walk around, and that interview when I walk around, and that interview when I walk around, and that's my command center. I just got the command center set up, and we're gonna do. We're gonna start off right like I usually do. And usually when I go to a building, I like to kind of just walk around and see how I feel. And that's pretty much what we're going to do right now. Like I said, we're locked in. So we're going to go start upstairs. And I will admit it is kind of freaky in here because, like I said, I'm completely alone. So we're going to, we're going to I have the trusty K2 meter. You guys can at least see it if it goes off. And I have been here once, so these spirits do kind of know me already. And they did not like me yesterday. So we're going to see if I can redeem myself or if they're going to hate me even more for coming back. All right, guys, I'm back. And 
I am completely alone in this place. Is there anybody up here with me? Is there anybody up here at all that wants to communicate with me? I'm up here alone. I'm the only one in the building. And I'll let you guys know as I walk through if I feel or hear anything. This was the room yesterday. There's a spirit that's super territorial in here about his chair. All right. I am up here completely alone. There is nobody with me. Is there anybody in here that wants to communicate? This is actually starting to go off. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's going off a little bit. And it just went away. Hello? I'm going to be honest here. I think the upstairs is probably freakier than the downstairs just because... I don't know, you get like the feeling, like I do at least, that there's something territorial up here. Are you up here? And I'll shout out if I hear anything. Is there anybody here that wants to communicate with me? It is so dark in here. The only light is the light outside. Hello? Can you give me a sign of your presence? I think we'll try the spirit box because that's where I had the really good responses yesterday. We're going to see if anything wants to talk to me. Here's So you guys know what I usually use. I use the SB7 spirit box with an external speaker just so it's a little louder. And I am doing this with one hand. That's why Power on. it's a little now, shaky. SB7 mode. All right, is there anybody up here with me? Do you remember me from yesterday? You cussed at me yesterday. Who was that? Yeah, and if it, you get, that said something. I don't know what it said, though. That also was a response. Can you tell me your name? Can you tell me why you don't like me up here? Are you territorial of this chair? Oh, it just said yes. I just heard that. That just said yes. How come you're territorial of this chair? Is this your chair?
Why are you so? Why are you so? Why are you so? Whoa! Why are you so mad? Why are you so angry? Do you have anything you want to tell me? Whoa, I don't know what that just said. But it was a weird voice. Did you die in this chair? Why are you so protective of the chair? Chair. Chair. Is this your chair? Is this your chair? Who is it you don't like? If it's me you don't like, do you remember my name? My name is Chris. If you don't like me, tell me my name to the spirit box. Say Chris. Say Chris. Say Chris. Whoa, that just like yelled at me. If it's me you don't like, I want you to tell me through the spirit box. Are you in this? Sorry guys, I'm juggling all this with like one hand. Who's that? It sounded like it just said, who's that? Who's up here with me? Can you tell me? Who's, who's the one that's protective of that chair? Is it a man that's protective of that chair? Should I go in the basement? That just answered me, but I don't know what it said. Is there somebody in the bathroom? Who's in the bathroom with me? Somebody? Who are you talking about? Can you show yourself in the mirror? Can you appear in the mirror in front of me? Is there a guy here with me? I'm going to set the K2 meter up as well. So I got the K2 meter set up. Can you set that device off or speak to the other one? Are you trying to talk to me? How old are you? So we heard this was used as a brothel. Can you tell me? Is there a Jeff? 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 I don't know what that just said, but that was a really loud female voice. 
What is your name? If you're the spirit of a female, tell me your name. It's so weird. I don't know if any of you have ever done a spirit box session before, but it's so freaky when you hear the spirit box. I just heard something downstairs. And I don't know if the camera's rolling downstairs. We're gonna go check it out. So, just so everybody knows, I just set that standstill camera up in the corner because last night we were in here, we were all down in the basement and we heard footsteps up here in the bar. So. We are. Walking around trying to get some activity. So if you guys watch the interviews, there was actually a guy that said he watched two men come in the bathroom and they never came back out. And this is this is where it happened. He was sitting right here. And then they walked in there. But right now, since we got the camera finally going, we're going to go to the basement. Everybody's favorite place. And I think we are going to see if we can hear anything upstairs. So we're going to turn on the extra IR light so we can see. Is there anybody down here? Can you give me a sign of your presence? Can you push something? Make a loud noise down there? I swear I just heard like footsteps above me. I'm going to come down there. Whoa. I just heard. Now, I know there's a bunch of stuff running in here, but it sounded like something just dropped on the ground in here. I don't know what that was. Maybe it's trying to distract me from the basement. Is there someone in the basement? Do you hear a creepy creaking door? It's because I leaned up against the door. I heard, I heard you say you think you're bad. Who was talking to me? I can't hear you. You got to yell really loud. I don't know what I'm hearing. I just heard something down there. I'm gonna make sure it's not. Not a car door or something outside. And then we'll go down in the basement. I just wanna see what that noise was. It was loud. So it doesn't look like there's anybody outside. There's no cars parked anywhere. That was me kicking something. Just seeing, that was a loud. Turn the spirit box on. Like I said last time I was down here, 
something crust my ass out, so. Alright, let's turn the spirit box on before we go down. Sorry, it might be a little shaky. I'm turning the spirit box on. Power on. Now, in SB7 mode. All right, I'm coming down in the basement. Is there anybody in here that wants to communicate with me? Is there somebody down here? I just heard a voice. Who's down here? Are you the angry spirit? Are you attached to the chair upstairs? Are you angry about the chair? Who are you? Who's in here with me? Is there somebody back here? You're awfully quiet. How come you're so quiet tonight? Whoa. I just felt like something touched my hair. I don't know if I walked through a cobweb, but it felt too heavy to be a cobweb. Who's back here with me? The hell is that? I thought I just heard footsteps upstairs above me. Wow, you're awfully quiet down here. You're not gonna talk to me tonight? <laughs> yeah? Who wants to talk to me? I just got a female's voice that said, yeah. Who wants to talk to me? How come you're still here? Did you work here at the bar? Did you work here at the bar? on the table, well, bar, and see what happens. Oh, look at that. The K2 meter is going off. Check this. It, I can't do it now, but I was going to show you guys. I just got that to go off. Are you sitting at the bar? Can you make that device go off? They say they hear the clinking of glasses. If I pull up a chair, does anyone want to buy me a drink? How about it? If you can come down here with me and push one of the bottles or push something off the table, I'll buy you a drink. How does that sound? You want me to buy you a drink?
If there's nobody here, I can't buy you a drink. Come down the stairs or come up the stairs. If you're in the basement, come on up. Come on up, don't be shy. You want to set that device off on the counter? It's just a football player right there. I mean, I don't know, maybe go in the bathroom? Are you the angry chairman? Feels like something is touching my head. My my head. That was weird. It's the first time I felt weird down here. Even alone, I didn't feel odd like I do now. Can you give me a sign of your presence? I want this behind me. I really feel like there's something back there. Oh, there's that cold breeze again. It's so cold right here. I know. I just don't want to leave why it feels like this. That is dead silent. Did you hear that? There is no voices going through that at all. Why are you so quiet? Why don't you want to talk to us anymore? You know, I wonder if this scared everything away. Are you standing behind Chris? I haven't heard a single voice to that of you. Are you refusing to talk to us? Give us, Show us a sign of your presence. Give us one good sign and we'll leave. Can you do that? Knock something over. Push something down. Give us one good sign and we'll leave. I didn't move and that went off. Did you see that? I didn't even move and that went off. Can you knock that ball? Bottle over? I'm getting that cold, that cold breeze right here again. It feels so cold right here. Are you standing right here? Can you push something over? 
That clip? Yeah. Hey, you know something weird? Are you guys setting this thing off like every three minutes? There, there's been a couple times where it's going off on its own. It's been going non-stop. We, we went back upstairs and it literally hasn't stopped since we went up there. You know those cold breezes that we were feeling before? I'm get, I was getting those cold breezes again. I can feel them right here in the center of this. Right on top of the board. Yeah. But it's still not moving, huh? No. Have you heard anything? The spirit box? Absolutely dead. It's silent. Not a, I mean, not even a peep. <laughs> 